Welcome back to the Home Inspection YouTube channel. Today, I got a good video. We are gonna be reviewing the ferret camera. The ferret camera was sent to us from toolexperts.com. They want us to check it out, do a video on it, and then after I do a quick box opening, we're gonna shoot, shoot out in the field and see how it works out. Uh, if you are interested in purchasing home inspection tools, I would definitely check out toolexperts.com. They specialize in specialty tools for home inspectors and it's a family owned and operated business. So if you're not wanting to go to the big corporations and you wanna su support one of your small businesses, definitely check out toolexperts.com for your home inspection related tools. Uh, start diving into what is the ferret camera. A ferret camera is a small camera that can fit into your pocket it, and it gives you good quality video where you can get where you can't get your eyes on in tight places. So such as like plumbing traps or plumbing stacks or somewhere deep in the attic space where you can't really see. So the unique properties about this camera, it has a built-in Wi-Fi hotspot. So you don't need to be directly linked up to it with your phone. It has wireless range up to 50 feet. So you could be pretty far away from this camera and you still get good quality video into the product. Uh, Built-in rechargeable batteries, so you don't have to change out the batteries all the time, which is fantastic. It's dustproof and waterproof, so if you accidentally drop it into a bathtub or a sink, you're not out the price of the camera, which is fantastic. Good quality video, 720p, and it has HD streaming. So 720p HD streaming straight to your phone. So if you are one of those inspectors out there that use software, which is I'd say over half of them now, these videos will upload into the software where you can uh, show your clients the things that you found underneath the property or in those tight places with this camera. Digital zoom, I'm not sure how that will work out with the camera being so small, but you never know. We're gonna check it out in the field. And then also the ferret video always up mode, which is a crazy, development i think so so you're not looking at the camera upside down i don't know if y'all use sewer cameras but some of those sewer cameras don't flip the camera up right so like as you're going underneath the pipe you're trying to guess which way's up and which way's down the camera will automatically do it with the uh, the ferret the ferret plus camera so that's uh, some fantastic things that go along with this also, uh, they send us some accessories uh, with the camera, which comes with this wristband that connects it because as you're reaching with the camera in hard places, it could be hard to activate the record button while you're using multiple hands. So they gave you this wristband that you can uh, use. And also this goes with, if you use some of the softwares that use iPhones or Androids, where you can be writing your report while the phone is attached to your wrist, which is, is a, an interesting uh, concept. We use big tablets in my company, but I know this will be useful for a lot of home inspectors out there. And then of course the range ex extension stick. So if you can stick the camera further in to certain areas, so you don't have to reach back there and have a rope tied to it or whatnot. So there we go. Uh, that, that's just a quick review of what we found. Let's uh, go ahead and open up that box. All right. Opening up the box we have, oh man, check out this case. Look at that. Man, that's well designed, well developed. Good quality zipper there. So you know, I'm a little bit rougher on my tools in the field, so uh, this is pretty nice. So uh, here we go. Wow, that is, that is small. Look how small that thing is. I thought it was gonna be, you know, I don't know, a lot bigger, but it's actually the size of the picture on the box, which I, I wouldn't have expected that. Wow, look at this gadget. I thought it was gonna be kind of big and bulky. Man, this is this is fantastic. Okay. Let's uh let's see how to let's let's see how we can uh, charge this thing up and uh, get it get it set up. This is a, a first impression video. I don't know really much about this camera, so you I'm literally gonna be figuring it out as uh, as we go. So it looks like to keep it waterproof, they have this uh this O-ring on the back that protects the charging ports in the back here. So let's see if it comes with a charge. It does not appear to come with a charge. So give me about 20, 30 minutes. For you, it'll be like two seconds and let me charge this bad boy up. 
Okay, so while we're waiting for the camera to charge over there, I don't think it'll take too long because the camera's so small, but I'll keep you updated how long it takes. What I wanna do is start off with the ferret wristband. I started opening it up and fiddling around with it. First off, don't put the wristband on and then put your, try to fedangle your phone into the wristband. What you wanna do is go ahead and throw your phone into the wristband and the only thing I have a problem with this is, is I have one of the newer phones that has no buttons on the front. So this is the iPhone 12 or 13, I don't know. And it works off a of face ID. I can't, I can't use my phone in the wristband. So if you have an older phone with like the push button or that uses your thumbprint, this will be useful, but my, I can't even operate my phone at all in the wristband. It is a, a good idea for some of the older generation phones, but for this to work, what we would need is some sort of locking me mechanism where the phone like locks in and I can still use my touchscreen because my touchscreen uh, capabilities do not work at all. And my notepad just opened up randomly on this. So uh, if you do have one of the iPhones, the newest ones that only use touchscreen and no uh, push buttons on it all, uh, the ferret wristband will not work. All right, next piece, we got the ferret stick, which is an extension piece where it will extend 55 inches. So if there's like an attic space you really can't get your head into or, you know, reach in underneath like a crawl space where you can kind of reach in there and poke the camera around, they have a, an attachment for the ferret stick. And it, it seems to be opening up and closing really easily, uh, which is nice. Uh, and it, there's not much give in it, which I, you know, it's sometimes these selfie stick type things, they seem like they could break uh, pretty easily. So not getting that vibe. A uh, good little hand grip, obviously some sort of wrist catcher thing, whatever. <laughs> There's your home inspection tech not, uh, terminology. Uh, but what they do is they, in this ferret pack, they come with all these different attachments for the end of the ferret. This one I seem to like the best. It, it can move and it, it just screws on to the end of the stick, if I can get it. It screws onto the end of the stick and then it screws on to the ferret piece. And so what happens is, is you'll pull it out, uh, be able to reach up and then scan the camera around like this in a really tall space. So firing up the fer ferret camera, it says to remove the cap and turn it on and it takes about two seconds for it to fire up. So as it's coming to back together, you just turn on the app and it's going to ask you to connect to its Wi-Fi. I'm only reading the instructions. This is the first time I've done it. So we're going to give it a shot. We're going to see what happens. Shows up right away. Ferret is connected, apparently. And let's see what happens. Oh, there you go. It uh, seems it appears to be working. And then you can see my messy uh, studio in here. Got the ring light over there and the computer, my messy desk. So that it seems to be working pretty easy to use. Uh, so let's see here. Let's take a, a picture of Bill. Uh, and it allows you to allow access to photos. So there you go. Can we start recording? Microphone, I guess there is a microphone and then I'll post uh, the video of this recording. So I do have a spot in a property where I know this could work and uh, we'll give it a shot. Okay, made it to the property and uh, a small correction with the attachments. You don't need another attachment for this attachment to connect to the ferret camera. It all links up together, which is nice. I was like, man, there's so many options, but uh, pretty easy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the extension pole here with the ferret camera and my phone right here And we're gonna check out uh, this plumbing hatch uh, One of the inspectors was wondering if the tub was leaking back here so you can kind of see they've done some 
home modifications behind the tub here. So what we're gonna do is run the tub water and then we are gonna stick the ferret camera back there to see if we can find any water leaks or any type of damage behind the tub and see if that low light camera works too as well. So get the, the water running in the tub. Let's go. Alright, the camera is connected. I have the, the phone sitting right next to me. And uh, always up. We got a small lag time that isn't bad. Let's go further back here. Let's turn up the um, light a bit. Yeah. Helps us find out any termite damage in there, if there is any. I'm not really seeing it. Coming back out on the edge of the tub. Nothing. Get a little bit better look around the corner over here, which will be a harder spot. So I can't really get there, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend the camera a little bit to the edge and go in the cavity. Alright, All right, so it doesn't appear to be locking, so maybe there's something to lock the uh, this piece in place so let me find that out here yeah so if you turn the the pole all the way to the right it will lock the camera in place so you can turn it in better angles here Let's see if we can get it oh the camera got dirty so clean it off give it another shot here Turn it to the side. Let's see if I can see anything over there. It's kind of hard to manipulate it. Here. There we go. Took a second to see in there, but as of right now, I do not see any type of water penetration or termite activity or any type of damage in this little wall cavity just a little bit of a improper uh, drain and sometimes as a home inspector you just let them know it's working okay home inspection youtubers I ended up liking the ferret camera it's pretty nice I like how small it is I like being able to stick the camera down that the, the that dark space like that because I wouldn't normally be able to see that. To be able to see all the way down there. The client felt comfortable that we could, were able to go behind the tub and look for termite damage and water. So it kind of sticks with my dough show idea. You don't get the dough unless you put on the show. So I would say this could be a handy tool. That you're not going to use it on every inspection, but every now and then there's going to be something that you're going to be worried about that you smell something funny or you get a weird feeling and you're going to be able to put this camera in that spot and be able to just to give you some peace of mind, give your client some peace of mind too as well. So if you want to pick up this camera, make sure you check out toolexperts.com, support your small local businesses and help, help these guys out and purchase the tool from them. Also, this can save you thousands of dollars too, you know, of any kind of complaints and then also make you money because of the tools that make it the dough show, the dough show, Chris, man. This is a choppy close, but <laughs> please hit that like and subscribe button and catch us on the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.